Welcome, today I'll be going over subtracting fractions. I'll go over two problems step by step, so let's get started. Our first problem on the board is 5 over 8 minus 1 over 2. So in a fraction, the top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. So when you have a subtraction or an addition problem, you have to make sure you have a common denominator. So the two bottom numbers has to be the same in order for you to be able to subtract or add. The first step is to see if you can immediately recognize the least common multiple right away. But if you don't, that's okay. We write it out, write out our multiples to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna use the space on the bottom to write it out. So the first bottom number is eight. Okay, so 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, and 8 times 4 is 32. And I'm just going to do four um, numbers right now, but if, if you don't have a common denominator, you can keep going until you find a common denominator. So I'm going to um, do the next number, which is a 2. Okay, and then 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 4 is 8. So now we have a common denomina oh, denominator of 8. Okay, right here and right here. Okay, so the next step is to rewrite our problem. So I'm going to just put an equal sign right here, and then our first number is going to be 5 over 8, and then the next number, we take 2 times 4 to get it to an 8, and whatever that you do to the bottom number, you have to do it to the top number. So we're going to take 1 times 4 on the top as well. Okay, so we're going to subtract. 1 times 4 is 4, and then 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, now you can see that our bottom number or our denominator is the same. Okay, so now the, the easy part is just taking the top numbers and then you just subtract it. So you're gonna take five minus four, which is one, and the bottom number, it always stays the same. So it's gonna be eight in this case. Our answer to this problem is one over eight. And you can also simplify your answer, um, but in this case, this is it's in its simplest form, is one over eight. All right, our second problem is gonna be four over six minus one over three. Okay, so again, our first step is to make sure that we have a common denominator, which means the same number on the bottom. And if you don't recognize the least common multiple right away, which is fine, we just write out our multiples to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna take the first number, the bottom number, which is six, and then I'm gonna take six times one, which is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18, and then six times four is 24. Next number is three, um, the next bottom number. So three times one is three, three times two is six, and there we have our common denominator, a six. And again, if you don't find or don't see the common denominator, you can keep going on until you find that. Okay, so we're gonna rewrite our problem, which is four over six minus, we're gonna take three times two, and then whatever we do to the bottom number, we have to do it to the top number. So we're gonna take one times two equals to two over two times three, or three times two is six. Okay, so now we have a common denominator of six. Now we can just subtract the top number. Four minus two is two, and then the bottom number stays the same. 6. Okay, so our answer is 2 over 6, but in this case, we can actually simplify this number even more. And you can take, if you take 2 times, I mean 2 divided by 2, and then 6 divided by 2, that'll get us our simplest and, um, form. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 
and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So our answer to the second problem is 1 over 3. Okay, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any problems you would like me to go over, write it in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks!